All right, y'all, these have got to be the ugliest shoes in my collection, but I like them. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Entertainment, still bringing y'all this ultimate super high def 4K entertainment before you even knew what entertainment, y'all. So listen, I have all of the Sean Weatherspoon silhouettes, all of them, from when he was in Nike, he went to Asics and did his thing over there, now Adidas, I got them all, and I had to get this one. As ugly as this shoe is, I love it on feet. Hit the B-roll. All right, y'all, so I have a confession. Those last sneakers, the ZX 3000 or 5000s, 8000s or whatever, I wore those on 4th of July. At the end of the day, after setting off my fireworks, which was insanely crazy, my feet was swollen. Like my right foot was swollen. Like it hurt to walk. Like I had to sit down for like a whole entire day. That next day I was up out of here. Like it was crazy, but yes. I don't think the cork insole is the way to go. Anywho, y'all know how Sean does it. You get your standard vegan box. Everything is recyclable material, etc., etc. This actual silhouette is called the Super Turf Adventure Sean Weatherspoon. Like, I've never seen a, another silhouette like this before. The sneaker looks crazy, to say the least. Also comes with a little carry bag or whatever. Pretty cool Adidas Sean Weatherspoon right here. Has the whole Super Earth theme. Y'all know how he's going and all with the whole vegan thing or whatever. Awesome. This bag is also made of recyclable material. I love when a sneaker gives you a, a bag. Like, that's that's awesome. So you have your paper on the inside, and that's uh, Jiminy Cricket. Um, I guess he was uh, something to do with the Pinocchio line or whatever. I wasn't really huge into Disney like everybody else was. But, yes, Jiminy Cricket is something to do with Pinocchio. I had to look that up, by the way. Here's your size tag. It also comes with one of those little... Y'all know how Adidas been doing it with the, the whole rope tag or whatever the case may be. And here are the sneakers, all loud in its glory. Here they are right here. Now, there's a lot to talk about with this shoe, but I'm not even sure where to start. Like, it's just so freaking much. And I love it though. It's so ugly, I love it. Like, y'all may kill me down in the comments. This is my favorite shoe this year. Like, OD. The joint got so many different materials. I love the way it looks on foot. Like, that's my favorite thing about this shoe. Like, when you have, have it in hand, it does look a little long, but once you lace it the right way and throw it on foot, definitely a head turner, definitely a dope shoe, comfortable, etc., etc., etc. Um, does have hints of corduroy here and there. You have a rugged type look. I don't know. I guess he was going for uh, like the whole childhood Disney fan, mountain climbing, etc., uh, almost like an everyday outlet wear type of shoe type thing and that's probably how i'm gonna be wearing this outside wherever i'll wear this in the mall i will wear it anywhere i will do an oil change in this shoe i will do it all because i feel like that's what this shoe is meant to do this is this is one of those this ain't for the hype beast right here this ain't for the hype beast i just really like this shoe now you're not gonna find this in any foot locker although it is sitting in a few stores here and there now another cool note on this sneaker is it does feature good old adidas addy Prem. now if y'all remember the addy Prem that was on the yeezy 500s and this is addy Prem 2 i think that's what they're calling it now so it's supposed to be a more comfortable or whatever situation down here on your feet um in due time i'll be able to let y'all know that well i'm sorry addy Prem plus yes so i guess they added a little extra to it you still have your cork on the inside i don't even think i'm gonna be rocking that yo it killed my feet last time like od back of the left shoe does have sean with a spoon signature and on the right we do have the adidas now the right shoe is where it gets real real crazy because it comes with this freaking pocket on there yo that makes it even dope now you can either leave it on the shoe and which that's what i'm gonna do or you can turn it into one of those like you know like a supreme bag that you would a little pouch or whatever that you would carry on carry around or whatever the case may be your medicine whatever you want whatever change money your phone whatever i don't know if that phone can fit in here but on the inside you do have the green lanyard that will turn this into that and you know allow you to wear this around your neck or whatever the case may be 
I'm just gonna leave mine in here. I ain't gonna mess with this thing. Matter of fact, I'm just gonna leave this in the box. I don't need this in the shoe at all times. But yes, pretty cool sneakers with features. I keep telling y'all, I keep telling y'all, sneakers with features is the way to go, definitely. Man, you got so many colors on this shoe. You got purple, orange, blue, green, yellow. It's just crazy. It's super ugly, but fire at the same time, bro. Like, I don't even know what to say. Now, I did see a sample, and on the sample, the shoe is predominantly this blue color, which is dope. And I did hear that Sean is sending that out to a few people here and there. Now, I seen this shoe getting ready to come out before it came out, and I reached out to Sean and his team to see if I can just possibly get this sneaker early to show you guys. And uh, I guess you have to have a blue check. I don't have a blue check on Twitter. Instagram, I'm just a nobody. But I did try to get this out early for you guys and I ended up paying a little under retail for this, which is crazy enough. Retail is 160 plus shipping is this, that, and third, and taxes and this, that, and the third, and I ended up paying 169 for this shoe. So shout out to my man. I don't know where you are. I found him on eBay and uh, he was able to send this out to your boy within two days, so that's awesome. Pull tab on the back, orange on the inside. It's too much, bro, it's too much. Now, I will say the only thing I do not like about the, this sneaker is this dotted material right here. I don't know, I, I'm not a big fan of it, but when you're looking down on the shoe, you really just don't see. I love the bird's eye view on this shoe like bird's eye view on sneakers is like it for me like it has to be dope but yes it's supposed to be a all-around shoe as you can see on the tongue it has a zipper and you can see mr jiminy cricket right here on the shoe so technically this is a triple collab with adidas sean weatherspoon and disney which is insane so that's pretty dope because you do have disney written on the inside of the sneaker somewhere i saw it somewhere earlier yes on the insole you do have disney written on the cork insole so it is what it is bottom is crazy man you see how rugged that is like almost gives off the whole uh human races that came out a few years back and they all had this whole little trail vibe that had, they had going on or whatever either way whatever i'm gonna do this on foot for you guys i will talk to you guys to death about this shoe yo Get mad at me in the comments for telling y'all this is my favorite shoe this year. Shout out to Sean Weatherspoon. Shout out to such an ugly, crazy sneaker that I love so much. Stay tuned for the on foot. I'm gonna end the video off here. It is your boy, Mr. Entertainment, still bringing y'all the super high def 4K entertainment for even new way entertainment, y'all. Peace.